Hey guys, what is up? It is Karen aka Cake to Baby Kate and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my May favorites. I'm super excited because favorites videos are some of my favorite videos to film. I know this is coming at you a little bit late since we are well into June already, but I just wanted to say I did not feel comfortable posting anything that wasn't directly related to the Black Lives Matter movement. It just did not feel right. I'm sure you guys know everything that's going on. I've been very vocal on Instagram about it if you follow me on there as well. I've just been trying to share as many resources, links, petitions, fundraisers, etc. on my stories and also just trying to bring awareness. I feel like that's part of my job. I have somewhat of a following. I have a platform and I should be speaking about these issues and it's something that I feel very, very passionately about. I've been doing my best to try and check my Myself and educate myself and realize my own complicitness and my own biases towards everything that I really have not noticed before because I am privileged. So I just really wanted to come on here and address this because it just didn't feel right not addressing it on my channel. So I just wanted to take a moment to talk about that. I've also been trying to educate those around me as well. I'm really open with my journey with trying to educate the ones that I love and the ones that I'm closest with. So if you guys can relate on any level, if you struggle with this on any level, I know I certainly do, head over to my Instagram. I'm much more active over there and I would love if you would join the family. So. Let's go ahead and get into my favorites. Now, I don't have much for May because obviously I haven't been going anywhere. I have not been applying makeup on myself as much as I used to, but I still have some favorites here that I'm excited to share with y'all. The first one I've actually been using for a couple of months now, and I've forgotten to mention it in past favorites videos, but this is the Thrive Cosmetics Cream Blush. It is in the shade Maggie, and I am just absolutely in love with this. I have not used any other blush for the past, I think two months at this point. As you can see, it is a cream formula. It comes in the stick packaging, but it blends like a dream. It is so lightweight. The color payoff is everything. It's really, really easy to apply, very user-friendly. You absolutely cannot mess it up. I've really been into cream products lately. I've been using stick foundations, cream highlights, cream contouring, cream blush. So this is definitely, definitely one of my my favorite items within this whole entire video and a nice segue into my next item which is the highlighting duo from Milani. This is in the shade Power Up and it comes with a cream highlight and also a powder highlight for that extra flare, that extra pop, that pizzazz it's gonna take you to the next level i am wearing both of these today on my face and i just absolutely love the combination i never used to like cream products but i am a changed woman now i've grown I've learned and I actually use the cream side of this highlighting duo more than the powder. If I'm feeling feisty, I will layer them on top of each other, but I've mainly just been going in with the cream side, literally with my fingers and I will just like pat this on the tops of my cheeks. It just gives a really, really nice glow. It's super natural. Also the powder side of this highlight packs a Super, super strong punch. I even like it better than some of my high-end highlighters. And the fact that you get two different formulas within this compact is just chef's kiss amazing. I actually have another Milani product and this is the Silky Matte Sun Tan Bronzing Powder. It comes in a decent sized pan and it also smells like coconut, which reminds me of the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I absolutely love that one. It's dark enough to add a little bit of color and a little bit of shadow, but it's not going to be overly dark on my skin tone at least. It is honestly the perfect bronzer shade for me. The formula is really silky, it's super easy to apply and it is not patchy when you apply it whatsoever. For me personally, I don't like to apply bronzers on top of powder. I like to just go straight into the foundation so it just sticks a little bit better and this does not skip whatsoever. Now moving on to some eyeshadow palettes that I have been loving and I'm actually wearing on my eyes today. These are the Ace Beauty eyeshadow palettes. This one is the Slice of Paradise and then I also have the Flare palette. I received both of these in PR and I've had the pleasure of trying them out for the last couple of weeks and I am just blown away by the color payoff. I do believe that this is a black owned brand as well. So if you guys are looking for a new brand to support 
in light of the whole BLM movement, these palettes are amazing. Like just take a gander, just take a gander of this eyeshadow look that I created with these palettes. <laughs> The shimmers apply beautifully with a brush and or your fingers and y'all know that I love a good shimmer that's easy to apply with a brush. That is just like a make it or break it point for me. The mattes are super, super buttery, very easy to blend. I've had no issue with them whatsoever yet. So I really recommend these palettes if you are in the market for something colorful that's also good quality. Kind of to coincide with the eyeshadow palettes, I also have these brushes from Bristles Beauty. I got sent these a few months ago. It actually may even be like a year ago that I got sent these, but I have been using all of them nonstop for months and I just thought it's time, it's time, it's time to talk about them because they are just that amazing. This is a woman owned brand, so we love to see it. I am really just blown away with the quality of these. I think these are some of the nicest brushes that I have. They are also very easy to clean, which is something that is very important to me. I don't know why, I just, always like to know if brushes are easy to clean or if they stain. These actually have not stained that much. This one has a little bit, but it's not nearly as bad as my other brushes or like my Morphe brushes. You can just truly tell that these are such, such, such good quality and I Highly recommend them if you're in the market for new brushes. My next item I actually use to clean my brushes in between looks. These are the Skin Food Rice Daily Brightening Cleansing Tissues. I personally don't like using makeup wipes for my face. I'll only use them if I am just really, really tired or if I had a long night out and I don't wanna do my whole cleansing routine. But I mainly use these to clean my brushes after I do a look. If it's colorful like this, I really don't like to leave my brushes with shadow in them because if I go to do a next look like a few days after and I have leftover shadow on my brushes, it's going to transfer. So I always make it a point to clean my brushes while I'm doing a look so that I can have like partially clean brushes for the next time. It's great for holding them over between each formal wash. I still go in and I wash them with my mat and also some actual soap, but for in between washes, I really like using these. My last favorite of the month is these. These are reusable bamboo cotton pads. These are a lifesaver. I really felt that I was producing a lot of waste with the amount of cotton pads, cotton rounds that I was going through. I went through maybe one to two a day just from applying my toners and my skincare and I really felt that I was being so, so wasteful. So I got these off of Amazon and it came with so many other pads. I don't have that many in my hands right now because I've used a lot of them, but these are really great for oil cleansing. And if you wanna take that makeup off, you can do that as well. I mainly use this for my toners, but they work great. You just pop them in the wash and they are brand spanking new. And it definitely has helped with cutting back on my waste that I'm producing. So if you are in the same boat as me and you go through a lot of cotton rounds, please look into purchasing some of these and help save our planet a little bit more. All right, you guys, that is it for my May favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried out any of these products or if you're going to try them out after you've seen this video. Again, I just want to reiterate that the fight for justice is not over. The Black Lives Matter movement is not something that we can just forget about after the hype for it dies down. We truly need to keep having those difficult conversations, keep protesting, keep educating ourselves and educating others on this topic. It is a human issue. It is not a political issue. It is not any other type of issue. It is a human issue. And it is something that just should not be happening in this society, but it still is such a prevalent issue. And it is something that we need to help fight. It is a fight worth having. And I know that I will continue to educate myself and keep going to protests and keep doing all I can do. Keep donating if you can donate. I just wanted to let you know my whole stance on this issue. It is so important that we keep fighting this fight. And with that being said, I'm going to sign off for today's video. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good good. And I'll see you guys in the next one.